The next thing that you want to do is you want to introduce what's what I call uh, top level uh, categories. Uh, these are basically folders that you set up that allow you to categorize your mail. Now what you need to do is, this is something that you have to make a decision on yourself, you need to decide what are the types uh, of emails that you get in. Do you get lots of emails from customers, do you get a lot of emails for uh, projects, do you get a lot of emails for um, from your friends and family, um, you need to categorize that. You do get a lot of emails from uh, things that you buy. Um, and then you want to create um, no more than between four to six what I call top level folders uh, for those. It's not a good idea to set up uh, individual folders for every single friend that you have and every single website that you've purchased something from or every single project that you've been working on unless you're getting more than 20 to 30 emails in a day for that particular uh, category then dedicate it, uh, its uh, own folder to it but as a general rule you won't need to do that and, and what you're really trying to do is minimize uh, the, the number of clicks um, and a lot of people they tend to have like a top level folder and then they have subfolders um, and you, uh, and what happens is you you expand the first folder and then you're scrolling down for what seems like a half a mile before you find the right folder to find the right mail that you want. Now in order to find the right mail that you want, um, because the main concern that people have by creating uh, additional folders is how am I going to find the email that I need, well you want to really take advantage of search for that. Um, and that should allow you then and give you the freedom to, uh, to minimize uh, the amount of uh, top ca level categories that you introduce. So the simple thing to do is of course uh, click on folders here, go over to create and then go to folder and then just give it a basic name. So I've got uh, one folder here called reference so every time I sign up to a new website um, or I sign into a forum or these kind of places and they send me a username and password um, or they send me my uh, cr login credentials then I, I basically just store them in this folder and I normally have another folder for example called purchases for all the things that I buy online and all notifications related to that. I may have another one called uh, projects. Oops, that's gone in the wrong place, but it should be uh, out here. Let's just click on the top level one over there and call it uh, projects. And click OK. So you can see uh, projects is over there. And then you can basically um, start moving some of your mail from your inbox into the relevant folder. So if you've got any mail that's um, already been uh, uh, read so for example this one here is, is, is actually for uh, customers so let's just set up a, another folder called uh, customers over here customers okay and then for every sale that I'm going to get coming in I'll just move that over to customers